What is up, everybody? My name's Grizz Goat. Before we get into it, like and subscribe. That's all you have to do. All right. Thank you very much. Today, we are working on expanding our zoo. We are going to be working on a train station for the outer loop of our kind of circular-ish shape that we have going on in our zoo right now. Um, basically, I decided I want to make this train before I get too involved with working on the other side of our zoo. That way I can probably incorporate it a little better into our build uh, and just kind of make something more interesting. And use some different building techniques, I guess. You guys have given me a lot of ideas in the comments, so keep them coming. I am listening, I'm just preparing. And that's what this video is about, is we're preparing for the future of the Grizzoo. Um, I've heard tigers, we're definitely adding tigers. I've heard uh, koalas and kangaroos, we're definitely adding those. And having the train is gonna let us transport the visitors wherever they need to go. So I've never actually built um, a train before in this game. This build is kind of inspired by the train depots you might see, train depot, train station train stations you might see in Europe, uh, a lot of glass kind of incorporated in them. Uh, and I mean that fits right in with the aesthetic we've been doing uh, with our capuchin house, our capybara corral, even the reptilian pavilion and the bug bungalow all incorporate a lot of glass. Now here we have several domes. Uh, I always like to add kind of the main dome and then a little smaller dome for the glass roof. Now we're just adding that decoration that we added on the front to the sides, uh, kind of where that archway meets up. Uh, there really wasn't a good piece to to put there, so I settled on those little limestone decorative columns. Now we're figuring out the greenery for the space. Uh, it was kind of confined, but I knew I wanted something pretty tall that took up a lot of space. And of course, I'm working with, I don't want any leaves to clip out of the glass because that immediately will take you out of it looking realistic. 
So trying to find the perfect plant to fit in these little tiny spaces is pretty difficult. But if you, you know, rotate everything, you might be able to figure out how to be able to incorporate it well. Now generally when I add plants I try to think about like what kind of plant is this and how much sun does it need. I know that sounds stupid to do in a game and I don't really follow it but sometimes if I know it's going to be super shady like right under a tree you're not going to see a lot of like full sun plants. Um, and I know like some of you plant nerds might call me out because I probably put a plant somewhere where it wouldn't grow naturally. It's just a little rule in my head. Now we're gonna add some lion statues. I didn't know they had a mirrored uh, version of this lion statue, so that was kind of cool. Uh, and then to tie it in with the rest of our buildings, of course we're gonna add our ball and chain. these little lamps. I believe they're from the Indian pack, India pack. Um, so we're kind of incorporating a lot of things that we've kind of used around the zoo. Uh, they're all kind of meeting at the train station, which is uh, symbolic, I guess, of the fact that the train is going to take us all around the zoo. So it, you might want to see some of the reoccurring themes and objects. Of course you don't want them to clash though, so. And now because the space was so big I decided I was going to add a little food court. create another building in kind of the Victorian style that we've been using throughout, uh, kind of at the top of, at the top of the map, I guess, uh, by the Cayman exhibit. We have that little stand up there, so we're using that uh, kind of copper, oxidized copper roof, and then accenting it with a nice dark wood against the white uh, looks kind of brings it all together. I think it looks really nice. And here this wall looked kind of kind of bare so I decided I was going to add a statue. Uh, I thought this snake looked really cool um, but then I kind of thought it distracted a little too much. So we don't actually stick with this. We go with something a little more subtle I think it uh, kind of matches really any part of the zoo that we're going to visit next, uh, whether that's India, Asia, uh, North America, you know, just a sun. Everywhere has a sun. So that was the emblem I decided to go with. Now we're just doing some rock work to kind of hold the whole thing place visually. If you don't know what to do with an area uh, because it's raised up, just add rocks. Uh, it does wonders. sign to that and there's the final product um, I'm excited for the rest of this train station uh, I do lay out the track at the end of the video um, so you'll kind of get a feel of 
where we're going with it, but I am excited. We have two other train stations that we're going to have to design. Uh, they might be a little smaller than this. I don't think I'll make another whole video on it. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you the inside. I don't know why that lady said, no, don't come in here, but I'll have to have a meeting with her later. So yeah, the guests will come in there. They'll exit over here. We'll get a nice view of the, this angle of the park. Uh, they'll be right by the Mandrel Mansion, right by the Aardvarks, and right by the Bug Bungalow. Uh, plenty of picnic tables for everybody to visit the convenience stores. So yeah, that's been episode 16 of the Planet Zoo Speed Build Series. Keep the comments coming, keep the subscribes coming, keep the likes coming, keep everything coming. Uh, keep giving me suggestions on what to build next. Uh, I might not get right to them right away, but I'm definitely going to try to incorporate them in everything. Um, so here's the track all laid out. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it all elevated, uh, kind of like the one in Disneyland uh, that goes around the perimeter. I think that'll look really nice and then I'll have to work with the exhibits to fit them in and it'll be beautiful just like you have a great day